Bakersfield, California, home to America's almond industry, and in spring, home to one and a half million beehives, almost every hive in the entire country. This is the largest managed pollination event in the world. Pollination depends on numbers. Each flower needs a bee's touch to produce its nut, and each year bee numbers are falling, on average by 30%, but for some beekeepers, more than 60% of their brood is gone. So there's a pretty nice frame. Mm -hmm. You can see all the larvae in here. It's so far so good for Gilly Sherman, but he's worried. It's worse than last year, and, and last year was worse than the year, the year before, so it's... It's, it's, it's bad, and um, there's a lot of good, big beekeepers that are having a lot of problems. In colony collapse disorder, bees leave the hive and die, and no one knows exactly why. So cue hagen -Dazs. They say nearly half their flavors would never make it into these pots without bees. With this special new flavor and a $250,000 grant, they hope to fund the research that will put an end to colony collapse. Entomologists at Penn State University have already started spending it. These bees have been collected and kept at freezing temperatures to preserve them. Then this grinding process shows up viruses and bacteria. Several types have been identified. Their insides are looked at too. A parasite called Nasema, which infects the bees' guts, has been found. Then it's about knowing how the diseases are spread. But all here admit they're far from finding the silver bullet and even further from knowing how to stop it. This is a very urgent problem. So we do feel that we need additional monies to come in for grants to, to work on this problem. We also need to have collaboration internationally to address what the role of different pathogens are. So more money and more commitment to research is called for to keep this essential industry going. In a world so dominated by man, it may come as a big shock to realize there are some things we can't do without nature's help. Heather Alexander, BBC News in Bakersfield, California.